Team building. According to Webster Dictionary, team is a group of people who work together. There are other similar definitions, such as a group organized to work together to achieve a common objective, a group of individuals with complementary skills who share, collaborate, and assist one another to achieve a common purpose. Together, everyone achieves more. Team allows common people to attain uncommon results. In other words, team allows everyone to go beyond their limitation. Benefits of teamwork can be summarized as follows. Successful teams often achieve increased productivity, increased quality through collective measures, increased efficiency, increased creativity. Team members may raise ideas they may not have thought of if working on their own, increase satisfaction, and decrease stress. Teamwork provides better morale and motivation, better problem diagnose, better problem solving. Teams can help to approach problems in new ways, better decisions through collaborative efforts. Other benefits could be distributed workloads and responsibility, diversity of ideas, diversity of talents, knowledge, and skills. Principles of teamwork include 1. Leadership. The leader is responsible for and has authority over the team. 2. Unanimous focus on a common goal. Each member of team must personally commit to the goal. Team goals come before individual goals. 3. Clearly defined roles. 4. Shared resources. All tangible and intangible resources must be shared. Ideas are valuable resources to be shared. 5. Effective and frequent communication. 6. Consistent, united, and enthusiastic effort. Maximum team effectiveness is only possible through maximum individual efforts. Team members need to support one another, recognizing individual differences or responsibilities. 7. Periodic and temporary suppression of the ego. All team members are responsible for suppressing their ego when necessary to benefit the success of the team. The team journeys from being a group of strangers to becoming united team with a common goal. Team building takes time. It usually follows some stages. As the team matures, members gradually learn to cope with each other and the pressures that they face. As a result, the team goes through the fairly predictable stage such as forming, storming, norming, and performing. Forming is the first phase in team building. This phase includes following. Getting acquainted with team members and the task. Defining the problem and strategy. Setting goals. Providing clear directions. Determining individual roles. Developing norms, trust and communication. Second phase in team building is storming. At this phase, team members try to sort out differences and understand each other, clarify the problem, goals and objectives, clarify core issues, define tasks, discuss roles and responsibilities, question interpersonal skills, negotiate conflicts if there is any, eliminate resistance. Third phase is norming. This phase requires team members to work cohesively together, to establish roles and relationships, to seek consensus, to reach an agreement on ground rules, to create a more supportive environment, to accept team rules and procedures as well as roles in the team, to cooperate in problem solving, to develop team spread, to give and receive feedback. The last phase of team building is performing. Teams that reach this stage achieve results. At this phase, team members focus on the task and work productively, cooperate, make decisions, 
solve problems, understand each other's strengths and weaknesses, gain the ability to prevent or work through group conflict and resolve differences, develop a close attachment to the team. It is possible to add one more phase in team building process, a journeying. A journeying is about completing the task and disbanding the group. To be able to build effective teams, one needs to be selective when choosing team members, know the individuals, skills, abilities, strengths and weaknesses, include enough members, clearly define expectations, roles and responsibilities, reinforce beneficial behaviors, confront inappropriate behaviors, interact purposefully, consistently and predictably, integrate coaching and team building, provide support, encourage group interaction. Characteristics of a successful team The period when a team forms and when they are working as a unit is often a period of stress and chaos. During this period, each team must have the following characteristics. Willingness Willing to work together Patience Acting calmly and not jumping to conclusions Good communication Talking openly about problems and feelings Trust Commitment Flexibility Being open-minded, accepting different ideas and change Sport Participation Innovation And motivation we can conclude this section with a quotation from Henry Ford. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. For more information on team building, you can refer to these sources.